Sorry about that. Finishing up my breakfast. <laughs> That's fine. I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, get my audio back up so I can see everything. This is going to be the final chapter. And it only has one battle. Which is the Battle of Garrick Mock. And I'll probably pull away from my other chat to check the what all's going on. <laughs> but let's get started. Azure Green, the end of tragedy. Dimitri and his troops slay Regent Iyer, and in doing so deliver a crushing blow to Adrestia and its army. Seizing this momentum, they continue onward toward Garrig Mach. En route to the monastery, Dimitri receives word that the Knights of Seros are struggling. He marches with one purpose, to slay Edelgard and Talus, ending the war once and for all. What is the situation? Is the Archbishop safe? Forgive me. Our initial strike on the monastery proved successful. But my unit was separated from Lady Reyes. And before we knew it, those dark mages had descended upon us. You've done well to make it here. Thank you for your report. Lady Reyes in trouble. We have to help her. There's no point panicking about it, Mercy. If they're giving even the knights trouble, we should make sure we're extra ready before we head in there ourselves. Lady Rhea possesses greater knowledge of the monastery than anyone else. If she is in distress after her successful surprise attack, that is troubling indeed. Those mages must have thrown off our calculations. I bring news, Your Majesty. We've just concluded our survey of Garrig Mach and its surroundings. A man we believe to be Tallis was seen entering the monastery, with the Emperor following close behind. So, she's fallen into his hands. The one grasping the reins of the Imperial Army now is no longer Edelgard, but Tallis. Surely those dark mages are his as well. It makes sense why the knights had trouble then. Indeed. Still, with all our greatest enemies gathered in one place, we have a chance to end this war, here and now. If we can put them to rout here, so much of what ails our kingdom will be destroyed along with them. <laughs> Perhaps. But our task is clear either way. Yep. Smash our enemies, win the war, and restore peace to Tholdland. Well said. The Alliance should be here soon as well. Assuming they've broken through the Imperial ranks in the Valley of Torment. Everyone, this battle will determine what lies ahead. Not just tomorrow, but every day beyond that as well. We cannot afford much time to prepare. But let us ready to make our future a prosperous one. Okay. <clears throat> Final battle suggestion. Hmm. Let's give this a try. Uh, slightly increase the chance of raising a unit's strength when leveling up. I have a worthy proposition. Magic when leveling up. What about? Or defense when leveling up. I mean, we're in the final game. There's not much to be gained from either of these.
Because this is, like I said, the final battle, so it's like... Even the normally I go with one that has two people suggesting it, but... I don't think there's going to be much leveling. I mean, I might level up my group to match the end battle level. Besides that, there's not going to be much leveling. I guess defense would be the best bet because even if it's a mage or a uh, melee unit, defense is probably going to help the most. So I'll go with the do. I'll handle it. <laughs> now then. can't hear Arval anymore. Oh, does that mean there's no Arval in my tent? No, there's not. Oh, supports. Okay, we'll do that first. Ah, by the <laughs> Dang it, I would have liked to get everyone supported. Rodrigue is still locked? Maybe because it's the final chapter? And I need to unlock it before that? Maybe? But if it's locked now, then... Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Let's see what Violet has. I want to apologize again. I'm really sorry. I can't believe I tried to kill you. Oh yeah, that's why this is locked. <laughs> It's all right. I know that wasn't really you. Still, the one who did it was a part of me. Literally. You asked me about this before. About some mysterious presence within me. And that's right. Well, sorry I couldn't give you a straight answer back then. Arval told me not to tell anyone. That's the name of the presence that was inside my head, by the way. The one that took control of my body and tried to kill you. Or maybe it was someone else entirely. The one that called himself Epimenides. Arval and Epimenides, hmm? I wonder what manner of beings they are. Beats me. And it's not like I can just go and ask them now. Honestly, I kind of wish I'd talk to Arval more now that I can't. That's how these things work, sadly. When you're ready to talk, the person you want to talk to is no longer there. Wait, does he not have Sothis, then? There's still so much I don't know. Remember how I got trapped inside that this after our fight? That's when Arval used the name Epimenides. And then tried to kill us. Are Arval and Epimenides the same being? I'd like to think they're different. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Epimenides is just Arval's true identity. I don't know if they were just using me, or if they had some other goal in mind. All I've got are a bunch of mysteries that I'll probably never solve. I did notice one thing. What's that? It was when we were fighting and you were being manipulated. It seemed like Arval was trying to keep your body from getting hurt. They could have fought more recklessly. I don't see why it would have made a difference to them. But they were making sure you weren't harmed. Seriously? Arval was protecting me? It's just a feeling I got. But yes, I think that could have been the case. I guess Arval's the only one who knows the truth. 
Or as the Saros folks say, only the goddess knows, right? But hey, thanks for telling me that. Really, it does make me feel better. I've got no choice now but to keep moving forward. Live out the destiny the two of us once shared. Funny, I came here to apologize, but you ended up cheering me up instead. I'll catch you later, okay? Only the goddess knows. Hmm? <laughs> well, the goddess may have been the one telling you that. Oh, so he is merged with Sothis for good. Well, yeah, that's normally what happens whenever he gets that look, but in the chapter he got it, she still was in control for a bit. I'm guessing whenever he finished that chapter and he's like, I need to stay on the battlefield a little bit longer. Maybe that was him trying to get Sothis reined in and just poofed. That, that's the only... support I had. And there's no way I can get all the supports in one chapter, so... The maxed out Byleth, who do I want to... I can't get Rodrigue because this is locked for whatever reason. This is A rank 2. Missed the opportunity, yeah. <laughs> That means I had the chance later on, but now I've missed it. Ugh. I guess I can try and finish off Yuri's. He's almost at A. I would like to get Yuritsa, but again, this is the final chapter, so I have to decide. Try and train with Yuri to get his. But now it's time to run around and see everybody. Oh yeah, I need to pull up the... Guide. Anna's shop series unlimited supply of seals. If everyone wasn't already leveled, they have taken advantage of that, but gotten enough seals throughout the game. It looks like Sylvain and Felix just have a conversation. Hey, Wolf, how are you? Oh, yeah. There's supposed to be a Millennium Festival in two years to celebrate a thousand years since Mulder's founding. I wonder if they'll still go ahead when we, if we take back Garrick Mock. Yes, morning, Wolf. I'm alright. I mean, up and ready for this final chapter. <laughs> Just. Trying to figure out all I need to do before the final battle. Fool. The Millennium Festival. Give it to you to be thinking about a party at a time like this. Nuh -uh. hey, it's not just a party, it's a political soiree where the leaders of each region can mingle and schmooze. Besides, what's wrong with having something to look forward to? You'll be there too, you know. I... <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> right now, you need to focus on the battle before us, Sylvain. If you die out there, you'll miss more than the Millennium Festival. 
Fair enough. I guess I'll quit my yapping and get ready to move out. Yeah, do that. I'd prefer if you didn't wind up dead because you spent too much time daydreaming. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and cook the final meal. Hunger is the true enemy. Let's get that one because it does the awakening gauge and the warrior gauge or something else. Really? Well, I can't make that one happen. Happy's almost at full. Aw, oh, Yuri doesn't like it? Come on. Okay, who else? I guess I'll go with Catherine. better when you eat it with someone anyway wow you really know your stuff this is my favorite come back okay. whenever you're hungry well, that'll take care of that uh, ignots have one oh. okay so it's just a convo with him let's think about that I think this battle is gonna be mark is your turning point Odlin's history it's overwhelming to think that I'll be a part of that if survive if I survive I want to paint a picture of the battle I feel like somehow it's my duty to do so. Well, yeah. I mean, it's always speculated that those pictures that happen at the beginning of each chapter in uh, Three Houses were Ignatz's drawings. Burglis fought us tooth and nail, though he was an enemy, it was nothing short of spectacular. We might have been able to take him down if Count Hevering hadn't stepped in. It's a shame. Of course, Dimitri and Dudu were at the training ground. I knew not what would happen when we were trapped in that place, but I'm glad we made it out safely. How about this? Does Arval still dwell within you? But I just told Byleth they're not there.
Let's just say they're still there, so. Let's see. Ah, uh, I see. They're gone, but power is still there. Maybe there's some part of them in my heart somewhere. Uh. See, you really you trusted them then. Perhaps you could find solace in the fact that you now understand more about the source of your power. <laughs> I also had the opportunity to speak with Edelgard and Claude, and most importantly, I sparred, spared, I was spared from having to take your life. Jesus. I do not read well. Okay. <laughs> I'm relieved his majesty is safe, and you as well, of course. I assume you don't try to cut down your allies again. <laughs> I'm just gonna reassure him because... Huh. I won't. What, whoever was controlling me back then is gone now. I know it's probably hard to believe no matter how I try to explain it. No. I will take your word for it, for now. Yep, that's the do. <laughs> No one else in the training ground, and I'll wait. I have to go out to see what the final battle levels are. Just a sec. Sorry about that. Um, I'll leave the training. I mean, I could just go ahead and do it, but I'll go run around and see everybody first. Then do my training stuff. Let's see who's next. Ah, Byleth and Gerald. Okay, so they're both separate. Um. Doop doop. Nope. Tell you, Lady Rhea was the last person in the world I want to see. I owe her a great debt, but our relationship is more complicated than that. I told myself I'd never go back to the monastery after I left the king, the knights. Return like this. I guess it's what they call guidance from the goddess. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Glad you and Demetri made it back unharmed. I was confused when you got caught in that strange magic and vanished. Thank them for not killing you. Okay. <laughs> cutting me down even though I attacked you. <laughs> you didn't seem to be in control of yourself, and I just couldn't kill an ally. Okay. Ah, there is someone in here. Got a minute. Oh, there's a book, too. One of our scouts returned from the monastery grievously wounded. What I heard, they were named by a young woman who appeared to be enemy general. Monica. Caused such harm to a person. There's no way she's human. Of Seros 2. Um, nope. Not reading that. I'll collect it from my inventory, but nope. Uh, Dorothea. The end of the war is finally in sight. Light in the darkness. 
defeat those horde people manipulating the empire, perhaps they that will lay the foundation for a peaceful future. Right on. That's exactly what we will do. We're gonna put a stop to them once and for all. Oh. Yes, that's right. Can't lose sight of what we're fighting for. Yes. Okay. Can we speak a moment? Uh, it's said during King Luke's time, the descendants of the Ten Elites banded together to resist the Empire and win their independence. Later, Lester and Fargus would be divided in, in the Crescent Moon War. Yet here we are, joining forces to stand against the Empire once again. And we maintain our good relationship with the Alliance after the war ends. Undoubtedly, there's no reason for us to fight, or at least for now, right? I think I see. Other people could make up any number of reasons later, but I'd like to believe there will be peace someday. It is the people who suffer if the flames of war spread any further. Our leaders should speak to one another and try to foster an achieve amicable relations or if it comes to that. Ah, uh, such a noble. Uh, flame first. Do you have a moment? Lady Rhea is safe. I know she is. I believe it with every fire burn of my being. After all, she is so strong and smart and kind and beautiful. So she just has to be safe. Right on. Yeah, Ray isn't the type to make a careless mistake that'll get her killed. Yes, absolutely. Excuse me. I'm certain Lady Rhea is waiting for us right now. All we must do is go to her post haste. Did you know? Some of the others think that Claude and his forces won't rendezvous with us in time. However, not a single person from Lester is the least per bit worried. I feel the same. I believe Claude will make it. Uh, oh yeah, Claude must inspire a lot of trust in his friends. Um, it's a little different than trust, I just know. Bob will make it and help us achieve victory. <laughs> That's the kind of person he is. Wait, there are legit alicorns in the Fire Emblem universe? I thought that was just like a piece, part of a headpiece. Guess the Falcon Knights ride alicorns. <laughs> No, the time has finally come. It's finally here. Huh? What's here? You mean the end of the war? No, not that. I'm going to have to see my father. Oh, no. 
He's at Garrick Mock right now, just waiting for me. I don't want to go. Can we just call this whole thing off? Ah, uh, Bernadetta. <laughs> Um, through because I think there's anyone. Nope, no one in there. Okay. Go see Ash, then I'll see Yuri. Can we talk? Anato always said that we would follow our own sense of justice. Oh, we should follow our own sense of justice, no matter what. He helped me and my siblings when we had nothing. Never forgave the church for what they did. I understand why. He was doing what he thought was right. That's why I'm not going to back down either. I'm the one responsible for his death, after all. No, you're not. Let's give it a go. Ah, fighting as a knight of Fargus until the bitter end is what I believe to be the right course. Okay, Ash, but you didn't kill him. This Yuri, I don't think he has a... Okay. Hey. Word on the street is the person currently holed up in Gergmonk is Count Varley of the Southern Church. Sure, at this very moment, he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off while Tales and Edelgard try to sort things out. You know, Varley had me beaten half to death a while ago. Granted, I had it coming, but he still gave the order. Dang. But no matter how much I want to laugh at the trouble he's in, or what a gruesome death he'll have, Keep wondering how Bernadette is holding up. I don't think she has it in her to kill her own father. Well, good for you both because you're both not going to the final battle. Ah, supplies. Supplies are the lifeblood. No, what I want to do? Collect supplies. That's another thing. Is I've got a. Everything has its use. Finish leveling up all the supply or the places. Aloise. You there. Hello there, are you feeling better? Do try to take it easy for a bit. Seriously gave us a fright when you took a swing at Byleth. I thought my heart would burst right from right out my nose. Aloise, you have some weird sayings. That was a close one. Unless there's some sort of play on word with nose, but I doubt it. Greetings, friend. Nothing to report. We're invading the monastery at last. I wish you all the best out there. I hope to see Garrick Mock return to its former glory. But I wonder, who could possibly be guarding the monastery gates right now? If it's to be believed, probably a brother or cousin of yours. Hey, there's uh, Shmir and Catherine here. And Catherine has one. Recapturing Gregmach is somewhat meaningful to me since I was a Knight of Seros. It was only for a short while, but I used to call that place home. Plus, if we do manage to take it back, it'll it'd be good time to close out my contract. Alright, what's up, Catherine? That's terrible. Can't stop worrying about Lady Rhea. We need to get out there right now and save her. Right on. 
I know, we'll leave as soon as we're ready. Nothing will stop us from rescuing her, Catherine. Yeah. Right, I won't let them slay Lady Rada. And I'll be counting on your help as well. No matter how strong she is, she can't last forever against such an overwhelming odds. Hmm. And considering how long it takes to climb the outer walls, time isn't on our friend here. The decisive battle is finally a part. It's hard not to be at least a little nervous. Maybe your business will go back to how it used to be if I re retake Garrett Mock. Don't pass this by. Come back safe, you hear? I'll be in big trouble if my best customer goes and dies on me. Well, hello there. Yeah, she has unlimited supply of seals. Which should be would be nice if I didn't have everyone already leveled out. Although I can still buy I've only got three of these. But I'll definitely need them if I'm going to level up all the buildings. Hey! Looks like the war is coming to an end at last. What are you gonna do afterwards, Commander? You're free to do whatever you want, of course. But personally, I hope you stick with the Kingdom Army. Maj Majesty and the rest of the forces would be glad to have you. The... Say, if we take back Garamok, Garagmok, would we then use it as a base when we invade the Imperial capital? If we did that, it would be like we were back at the Officers Academy again. How's this? Just like old times, maybe one day we'll all be able to get along like we did back then. We will, we just have to win first. Right, we're going to get through this together. Okay, these two, then there's someone down in the hole. Do you have a minute? Um, pardon me. We we're doing some sort of unusual dance a moment ago. What was that? It wasn't a dance, it was a prayer. One for the dead. Really. Would you perhaps teach it to me? I lost a lot of good soldiers in Aelial. Many of them hailed from Dusker, you see. I wish I would, would have asked how to pray for them beforehand. Your subordinates were fortunate to have you. I'll show you. Just follow my lead. Or should put your hands like this. And who's down here? Ah, Yuritsa, of course. Down here in the pit. <laughs> Just make sure Yuritsa doesn't have a thing. He does not. I shall grind those maggots with the heel of my boot. Crushing them is quite dull. Yet left to writhe, they become more, even more vexing. Dude, I get it. Oh, and of course, there's Mercedes. Never too far away from Yuritsa. You simply cannot lose Lady Rhea. No other bishop could ever take her place. She has been the very foundation of the Holy Church of Seros for such a long time. She's also astute in political matters and has never allowed another region to control her. Think. 
I have no idea what would become the church if something were to happen to her. Let's see, no one in there. Okay, there's some there. Ah, Petra. This is going to suck. <laughs> we must speak. The kingdom and alliance are having a new relationship. I am thinking Bridget will be playing a larger role. When relations between two regions can easily shatter, the third one takes importance. Bring up the Empire. <laughs> what about the Empire? Didn't Bridget have some kind of agreement with them? Uh. Yes, Bridget had been losing the previous war and came under the Empire's controlling. But the Emperor was changing and believing a new relationship could be made. Now I am thinking Bridget will be taking the role of the Empire. That is the only future we are having. We'll be having. Interesting way to think about it, Petra. Ah, Linhart. If I had been born in more peaceful times, I might have been able to lead a different life. All this blood on my hand makes it difficult to even take a nap. Let's see. Uh, then there are people like Kaspar who revel in bloodshed and shine through the time during times of war. I do not believe the world will ever perfectly suit everybody's different ideals. It may be time to accept that this is the Fodlan we live in now. I thought he would be kind of sad that Caspar isn't around, but... Maybe in this one they hadn't really had a chance to bond? Okay, that's the outer circle. I'll start with the inner. Dang all the people. Did you know? Ugh. I know it's kind of like to bring this up, but I don't believe, I don't agree with how we've been fighting. You must feel the same way, right? Come on, you can tell me. Yes, agree. Huh. Yeah, we've been a little cautious. We worry too much about what the Church and the Alliance think. Nah, uh, taking your allies into consideration is a good thing. That's not what I'm talking about. Then what do you have a problem with? <sighs> we party after a battle. It's always so stiff and formal. Dimitri could stand to loosen up a little. And the worst part? There's never enough meat! Oh, Raphael! Uh, happy and constant. Yeah, I think they both have... How may I help you? You have need of me. Perhaps you wish me to aid you in Garrick Mock. Feel free to use me as a decoy or make me pretend to surrender or have me sabotage them from underground. I care not what I do. Uh, what? Wait, sabotage? Are you plotting something? Can I be of use? Not really. I just have a talent for destruction. After all, my failed experiments. Oh, hi. 
Hey, uh, how's it going? You okay? I'm gonna pull any more shenanigans, Rhea. Really okay. I have no clue what's going on, and honestly, I'm feeling totally out of sorts. I bet. No one knows what the future will bring. That's hard to hold out hope when you're lost in the dark. Hmm. Yeah. We'll just have to roll with the punches for now. At the very least, I'll try not to sigh and get everyone killed. Thanks, Happy. Ah, Lawrence. Greetings. We have fought side by side for quite some time, but the day we, when we will have to part is fast approaching. I su suspect we will turn to Lester once the monster is rec reclaimed, you see. Right, yeah. Well, I'm gonna miss you. Oh. I shall miss you as well. You're like a flower- <laughs> Come on, Lawrence, why do I have to say that? I'm not saying that. <laughs> Lawrence can be his flowery self, I am not saying that. But alas, there are countless many back in Leicester who eagerly await my return. I am truly sorry. <laughs> Let us pour our hearts onto the coming battle. Leave the war behind with no not a drop of regret. Okay. Are the Alliance forces truly going to join us? I don't trust that leader of theirs, to be frank. He's been hiding behind the Eastern Church's bishop and doing as he pleases in the East. To be brief. With that sort of ruthlessness, he may even be plotting to take down take us down right along with the Empire. Claude, what you doing? I was thinking. Fighting at Garrett Mock this time, huh? Boy, I miss those days at the Officers Academy. I see. Me too, I remember it just like it was yesterday. Actually the Battle of Eagle and Lion. I couldn't forget that even if I wanted to. Uh, that's when Balthus of the Golden Deer crashed the field and went on a rampage. I remember that well. At that time, I cursed him until my voice went hoarse. Now, I look upon it fondly. That doesn't look like a genuine smile. You sure you're not still not holding a grudge because he ruined the mission? No one back here. There's no one around, so into the building. Ah, uh, Rodrigue. Well met. Not tell you what a relief it is to have bo you both back safe and sound. Imagine you inform me of what transpired. The forbidden spell of Zaharas and Arvel as well. I suppose it truly truth is stranger than fiction. Nevertheless, we now know a little more about where you and your power comes from. We can rest assured knowing you are on our side. Oh yeah, I have a 
board. Well, how'd it go? Man, how are you supposed to get all the awards to get everything? Do they reset? Any results a good result. I can understand hating homework. Cheat? Beat them for it? What? <laughs> mm -hmm. Imagine the time it would take to build a monastery of such proportions. Amidst such a precipice mountain range, I would be unsurprised if it took several centuries to complete. And yet, there is little to no variation in Garrick Mock's architecture style. Architectural style. My estimation that it was constructed in a short period of time with magic we cannot dare to comprehend. Yeah, because there's a scary dragon lady. Oh, hello, Seda. <sighs> Do not yet know if the Archbishop is safe. Yet I was an error on my part to underestimate our enemy's strength. If only I had allowed Catherine to accompany them. No, it's too late for regrets. We must reclaim Garibach and locate the Archbishop with all possible speed. I would ask that you lend us your strength as well. Leave it to me. You can count on me, I promise I'll find her. My thanks. Thank you. It is great it is a great comfort to hear you say that. Hmm. Olda needs the Archbishop more than ever. I beg you to rescue her. Looks like we gotta rescue a princess. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to check Which battlefield are you headed to? what the level of the final battle is. It is level 30. So I think everyone in my group is very prepared for this. The is... Okay, so there's, of course, since this is the final chapter, no one can be persuaded to join. So it's basically just going to be taking out the enemies. Okay. So we'll return to Make sure you're the ready. map. Also, I need to see what I need to do to... to assist with any matters regarding the facility. So Recreation has one, Marketplace has two, Battle Battalion has one, and Supply Depot has one. Oh, Blacksmith has two. Of course the Texas Tactics Academy and Training Grounds are the ones I level up first. So let me see what I need to finish off these. Okay, I have enough lavish building material. I need master smithing set times 10. I think all these are times 10. Okay, so I need two times 10 master smithing sets, so that means I need 20. Sorry about that. 
Recreation. I need luxurious furnishings. Time 10. Finish off that one. Marketplace. All these require lavish building material. I have 80. So 30 so far, 40, 50. But I need purveyor's license times 10. Then I need, okay, I need two purveyor's licenses in. That's 20 of those. A battalion guild. Another lavish, so that's 50, 60. I need heroes insignia. Times 10. From the supply depot. So I'll have enough lavish building material to finish it out. I just need a storage compartment. Give me a moment. Okay, so I've got to go to the supply depot now and get all the materials. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. I need master smithing set. I have 11, I need 20. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to get a bunch more smithing stones. That's... Okay, let's see how that works for now. I thought I 
bought. Why does it not show me what my updated set is? Okay, I bought one too many. Okay. So I got that. I need luxurious furnishing. I own two. I need eight more. Need purveyor's license. Okay. Let's keep going. I have ten, so I need ten more. Now I need Heroes Insignia. And so I need... Okay, I need two more of that, and then I need ten storage components. So I need six of those. Do I have any resources I can sell? Insignia, I need two more. Then storage compartment, I need six. So that means everything I'll have everything to expand the facilities. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. of resource and ingredients, okay.
Okay, so I've gotten everything Let leveled in. That's all the facilities leveled up. Now, I'm gonna go train. I don't have to... I think everyone is level 30 or higher. Training. The... Yeah, <laughs> Dimitri is the only one who's overkill. Because I had to level him up. Yeah, everyone's level 30. Lynette and Ingrid and Rodrigue need to be leveled. complacent my conviction is unshakable okay so everyone who's going into the main battle has the appropriate appropriate levels so now we'll just train Violet is leveled up, and I said I would try and get beauties. Him in here. Atria and Mercedes are good. Okay, they're still working on. It. Okay. So Ash and Annette are good. Stu and Ingrid are getting there. <laughs> Rodrigue and Felix are good. Catherine and Shamir. Sylvain and Bernadetta. Yeah. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to get rid of... Can I just... them? So this way, all I have are my main units. Sylvain up here. Okay. Annette is the Annette and Ingrid. Yes, give him time with Roderick. <laughs> and then where did Felix go? There he is. Let's see. Just work on the main team. Of course, you mastered everything. That means I have to get you a new class. Felix? That was an eyesore. <laughs> I hope you know that. Okay, just let you work on that. 
Everyone else should be good, so we'll do some successive training. Who mastered? I did. Okay. Gosh dang it, me. I'll go get. Go ahead and get the. See, that is not an eye sword. Jeez, Felix. But the flip was with beers. <laughs> oh, this'll take some getting used to. Okay. Ah. So we'll do some more training. No surprises here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've learned something new. I'm getting better. No, this is not my peak. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'll be able to help even more now. Okay, so first things we check. Still leveling, still leveling. Okay. Of course, you master everything. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I will devote myself to this new path. Unchanged. Hey, Wyvern Rider to do. I didn't ever think of that. that. Would be a killer unit. Between victory and defeat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ash. Does this make me stronger? <clears throat> hmm, this 
could work. All right, this is the last point anyways. Okay, that's the end of the point. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Well, unfortunately, I did not level up my support. With the Eerie. Wish I had. That would have been fun to see. <laughs> and there's not much else to do. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to run through the battle to see what exactly I need to work through. Because this is going to be a long battle, I'm thinking. 40 strategy resources. Lion King's Wave. And Ingenious Formation, which I guess is rep Relentless Formation. Because there's no other formation option. Alright, I know this isn't much, uh, very fun to watch, but I'm trying to make sure... Okay, I know somewhat what I need to do. And thankfully there's no- oh, Claude pulls up Brutus and tries to kill you. Thankfully. That's the last thing I need is to fight Claude. But... Let's go ahead and get this battle started. <laughs> Homecoming. <laughs> I want you and your unit to keep watch for us. And my uncle will help you. We can't let our enemy get inside these walls. Do it for the Empire. Yes, your majesty. Uncle. Splendid work, Edelgard. 
Ugh. I did what you asked me to do. Is that good enough? But of course. All you need do is follow my shall tear at each other's throats until none remain. Edelgard, you must join the fray as well. Me? After all, what good is an emperor who lets everyone else do the fighting for her? Yes, uncle. When we left our school two years ago, I never imagined this was how we might make our return. I think I'll skip the next class reunion if this is what they're always going to be like. Our enemy's waiting for us just beyond these ramparts. And Talus is at its heart. This is our chance to stop him once and for all. <sighs> I always get the jitters before big battles like this. You needn't worry. Besides, time for nerves once the fighting begins. Yes, and we'll surely win with the goddess's guidance at our backs. In any case, there's no turning back now. So let's stand tall and greet this battle with our heads held high. There's still no sign of the Alliance, Your Majesty. Claude will come. I'm sure of it. He knows full well if we fall, he'll be next. And Claude told me that we would meet again. He's crafty, yes, but I've never known him to be a liar. It's almost time. That's your cue, Dimitri. Yeah, we could all use one of your inspiring speeches to really set the mood. Right then. Hear me well, fearless knights of Fargus. Oh wow, an actual EG. It is only through your combined efforts that we find ourselves here with a pointed blade thrust at the throat of our enemy. We lost so many lives in Duska. Our king, his knights, and more innocents than I can bear to count. This war has claimed even more. But now, we can finally avenge all of those who have fallen. Today, we sever the threads of fate that bind us to our troubled past and march forth into a bright tomorrow. We shall fight, we shall survive, and we shall win a glorious future for Fodlan. I trust each of you to see our task through. Now move out! <laughs> Defeat Talus. No defeat. Condition. Okay. So, like it said, Lion King's wave. Again, battle in an offensive formation. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely a offensive formation. <laughs> that will be our battleground. Petri to do and Felix are the enemies or the allies that I can use myself. There's Ingrid, Sylvain, Mercedes, and Ash. No Annette still! Gosh dang, there's not enough people for her to actually shine. I guess I gotta take Mercedes over Annette because she is our healer.
Thank you for not taking my dagger. Oh, he took a brave lance. I'm like, did he take back his meek weapon? No, he took a brave lance. Actually tell you what tomes they'll make. One way of knowing what you were going to use. Okay, first as always, save. And let's get this started. Ugh. I'm getting the jitters. <laughs> this is it. We will take everything we have, but we must defeat the Emperor and restore peace to Fogel. has yet to arrive. They'll come. Let's capture the nearby strongholds to create a rendezvous point for when they do. Whether the Alliance shows up or not, we will fight and we will win. I'm not fighting! <laughs> I definitely need to get the soundtrack. Holy crap. Hey, to do. This will be the rendezvous point for the Alliance forces. We have to protect it. is on our way anyway. Okay. Proceed as planned. Atrian to do, I want you to guard I this one. Let's begin. I will be your shield. Oh, he's all the way up there. I'll do what I can. I'm here to help. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Ah, we'll have to keep a tight watch on the Alliance rendezvous point. Get 
Thanks for keeping him busy. Dimitri and Dudu have the southern point. I'm going up. Okay, one down. And yes, I know I can warp, but I'm going to save my warp for later. Because I don't know what else is going to happen. visual. Good. That one's down. Despite their human guise, they are nothing more than beasts, and they fight like them too. I must retreat. He ran. However, this path will get us past the walls. After him. You thwart our dreams. Powers knows how to do his crack the whip. Hey! Activate the Viscum! Oh crap, that's right, the Viscum. Uh, of course. Those weapons are slightly different from the ones we've seen before. Be careful, everyone. Begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. The other one I can control is Felix. I'll do what I can. I'll send him to this one. I'll take the other one. It's worth a shot. Looks like they're up to something. I better take this opportunity to snatch one of these strongholds. These auxiliary forces are a threat to our rendezvous point. We must protect it. Okay. I know I sent to do and Dimitri to take care of those others. And to do is take care of that. The rest of my forces. Up here? Of course they are. Here you loud and clear. Leave the backup to me. Shall we? Begin the operation. I have your back. You two better fly. Well, I have to go from the other side. Oh, crap. Attack! Don't give him a chance to retaliate! Stronghold will be ours in no time. Grant them no mercy. This level seems to have some controls too. Still, we should focus on shutting off the weapons in the lower level first. The heck, Felix, you're already done. No, you're just starting. Okay.
Dimitri, you're taking the long way around. I guess if it's closed off, you have to, but... And Dadu's taking care of that one, okay. I about followed the Dimitri. That's not good. If we lose that location, the Alliance won't be able to rendezvous. There is the person I put in charge of that. Ingrid, okay. <laughs> Is Ash. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I know I'm sending back up forward to lose this stronghold. Creeps freak me out. Hey, watch out! That's in firing range of those weapons. Don't let the stronghold fall. To your posts, everyone. I can still fight. Oh, come on! Now they're trapped like rats. Send in everything we have and crush them. Okay. Checkpoint. Let's hope I'm not screwed over from the checkpoint. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm here. Hear you loud and clear. Leave the backup to me. Begin the operation. Shall we? I'll provide assistance. I'll do my best. Bonio's down there. I'm gonna send the majority of my forces to that one. I'll back them up. I have to do a whole loop to loop around. don't want to use one of my shadow slides because I think I only have three but have to I will You know what? I'll just start at the bottom and work my way back up. Let a single one in. 
Okay, y'all take care of this. Okay. Y'all seem to have this under control. They're almost dead, so I'll set myself head to this one. Take care of this. I'll take control of Felix for a second. It's worth a shot. Stand down. Let us crush their defenses. Now here's the control. One down. We have an important mission to carry out. We can't stop here. Now. For right now. I can probably hang on to Felix and head to the high point. Start taking care of this one. And once the do or Dimitri finishes off theirs. Oh, Dudu has already finished this. Okay. Then Felix. I'll do what I can. Back up here. It's worth a shot. Grab hold of to do. It's time to move. I'm going. Good. We disabled it. These are a lot stronger than the weapons we saw in Ferdi. Good. The rendezvous point is still safe. So far, all is well. Now, controls. Okay, second one down. <laughs> I forget that you have run through damage. one with the controls. Yes, it is! Alright. So, to do... Do with you... Let's begin. Let you to take care of that it's stronghold. Back control of myself. And that's the last one. I really don't want to step again. Because then I'll have one left. We're not even to the... We're at the middle point, so I guess... I have to step one more time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really 
All right, finally. Did we come a little late? Form up with the Kingdom Army, everyone. The alliance has come. But where is Claw? Well, no matter. We'll take all the help we can get. This is an absolutely terrible situation. All of you, protect the stronghold. Okay. Let's go disable that artillery. Capturing the stronghold should make things easier too. Okay. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Where am I? I'm right here, so if I just go through the door in front of me and up. Dimitri's going for the ballista. Let us crush their defenses. Here we go. Now's our chance. Attack. At this point, the ends justify the means. Stop them at any cost, even with fire. Lovely. Oh, goody. Is that monstrous thing? Is it friend or foe? They had something like that in their back pocket this whole time? All we see is a world without rulers.
Okay, tighten us down. I'm getting out of here. Here we go. There we go. Finally, Claude. You didn't expect anyone to make it across the mountains, Count Varley. You should always keep an eye on your back, too. No! Stop! Don't let them open the gate! <laughs> Afraid I already did. Sorry for the delay, Dimitri. I knew you would come, no matter what. Let us crush the Imperial forces together! Okay, I need to go up. <laughs> How could this happen? I was wrong to follow that man. <laughs> okay. The Alliance will cover the rear. You go on ahead. Thank you. We'll be counting on that. All right, let's infiltrate the monastery. <laughs> this is it, Dimitri. Talus is just ahead. Hopefully this is a checkpoint, because holy crap. Indeed. Strange how my reason for stepping foot in this monastery now same as it was those three years ago. Ah, uh, okay. What do you mean? Revenge. All the heirs and relatives of every noble in the land come to learn here. It seemed likely that at least someone was connected to my father's killer. After roaming the kingdom for fruitless lead after fruitless lead, I hoped against hope that I would at last find the answers I sought here. nothing alone. Yet now, I stand here once more. My enemies are pretty clear for all to see. And this time, you're gonna get your revenge. You're not alone anymore, Dimitri. You've got your friends here with you every step of the way. So let's win this. And when we do, we'll all greet the new dawn together. Right you are. Let us go. <laughs> okay. Lady Raya, you're safe. Quick, let's clear out these enemies. The kingdom. So you have come. <laughs> Okay, everyone's going to guard Rhea. We've got a friend in trouble. And I am going to kick Kronia's butt. Yes. Come on out and rally around him. All of you. Tola said you had to. I cannot allow Garrett Mark to be destroyed. All units, at the ready. We'll show them what Alliance courage really means. What's he got to do? You got me. Oops. No. This is wrong. I can't die. 
Maybe I didn't need that, or maybe it'll still continue. Yep, here we go. I'll assist you in this fight now. Up ahead is the cathedral, the heart of the monastery. The tallest and able should be there. Don't let this chance slip away. Crush them! <laughs> the script <laughs> for thousands of years it shall not be stopped here dog pile on top is Don't dogpile on Tallis yet. Dogpile on Edelgard. I'm sorry, Edelgard. Wish is for a new age where we can live together in peace. Is that a magic barrier? It's keeping all our attacks out. Perhaps we should focus on Edelgard for now. I chose this path, and I will see it through to the end. Night of Fox. <laughs> Sorry, it'll guard. Let me in, Tallis. Oh, for flip's sake! Where is Mercedes? That is Sylvain. Where is he? You healed, you butt! With this power, I'm gonna beat her. You've got my back. Right on that. Revive as many times as you like. We'll keep knocking you down. He was pulling the strings from the shadows all the while. Your Majesty, the time has finally come for our revenge. I have an endless supply of soldiers at my Go slow. It's time to leave the past in the past. That's what we're fighting for. <laughs> Them. 
Okay, I'm getting low. Mercedes, where are you? Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I owe you one. Thanks. Come on. Is he gonna be a fighter now or is he just gonna Okay. Edelgard is revived. I'll send everyone to fight Edelgard for now. I've got this. We must be at the end of this. Let us finish this and right the wrongs of the past. Do you see this one? I'm finally here. I will have my revenge for that day. I must finally be free. So this fragile flesh has run its course. No matter. Dimitri, go! Oh god, no. You cursed beasts will never defeat us! <laughs> Guess it's over. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> it seems the dawn is nearly upon us. About time, too. So, my friend, shall we? Right. There's much to be done. It is now 1183, Great Tree Moon. Holy Kingdom of Fargus, beside the Leicester Alliance and the Church of Saros, emerged victorious against the forces of Adrestia. With the loss of Regent Iyer and many of its leading strategists, the Empire has been forced back on all fronts radically transforming the power structure throughout Fodlan. In pursuit of their ideals, the young leaders press ever southward to crush the empire for good. None know what tomorrow this war may bring, nor what future awaits Fodlan.
right. <laughs> that was... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be MVP of all the freaking battles. <laughs> because I never chose another character to play as. Maybe next time I'll do that. I mean, if I do Noon Game Plus, then my character's gonna be overleveled as heck. So, I may just choose other characters to play as. Oh, nope, Felix. Let's even can. Including all the different missions? Wow. Okay, Felix got MVP once. I'm sure that's because I couldn't be in the battle. <laughs> so the one I didn't get was I didn't get the dancer uh, class. So next time I'll need to find where the dancer class is so I can get that one. That would've been fun. Oh, wow, they're even including the paralogs? Jeez. Yeah, I'm taking all the MVPs. <laughs> but next time I play, maybe I'll change that up where I'll just have, like... I'll actually take control of other units so that other people can be MVP. <laughs> And just let my, uh, let my, like, shez run around. And do all the fun stuff. Because I'll know that shez will have the back of, like, every character in the game. Since I'm, like, at 50... He's 55? 56? I guess this is the first time I've done this. I'm going to let it run itself out. I don't know if there's anything after this. Or maybe I can fast forward a little bit. Because <laughs> we're just on chapter 10, Pete. Oh my lord, there's 17 chapters. Although, was it? 15, 16, and 17 were pretty quick. Man, which one should I play next? Uh, Golden Wildfire or Scarlet Blaze? I kind of want to save Scarlet Blaze for the last one I play as. 
Because, honestly, even though I felt sympathy for Edelgard because of all the crap that happens to her in this route, I, uh... I mean, all the scummy thing that's, that happened to her because of Dimitri being a powerhouse <laughs> and having me with him. I don't know if I'd rather play hers first and then finish out with Claude's. Because I know that in hers, probably Dimitri isn't going to survive. He'll probably be killed, and I really don't want that to happen, but it's just the thing with playing other routes when you don't have that person in your entourage. Oh, we're finally at chapter 14. <laughs> But I think I may finish out Three Hopes and then go back to Three Houses. Because Three Houses is going to take forever. Oh! Dimitri MVP'd, alright. That's right, I played as Dimitri because I couldn't play as myself. <laughs> he was so slow getting around everywhere because he had, didn't have a horse. So besides me, Felix and Dimitri have MVP'd. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, tell me achieved victory and has received a letter from Dimitri. Woo. Ours in battle. And I doubt I'd have seen it through to the end alone. Mere words fail to express just how reassuring it feels to have you by my side. But perhaps it's best for me to postpone such sentiments, seeing as the rest of the war still remains to be fought. For now, let me simply say that I am thankful to have you, and hope with all my heart that you choose to stay in the kingdom. Oh. Well, dang it, now I have to play through and get everyone else. Oh, wow. Cool way of incorporating the crests. I guess that's just the replayability of the games. Like, you want to see what happens with your favorite character after the end of the game. I still love that scene. The dude gives back Dimitri's weapon. Araya bar, I believe. I can't pronounce the names well. <laughs> Do 
Duke Iron and Miklon are the same voice actor? Dude. I didn't know that. And I do not know what crests those are because I do not memorize all the crests. <laughs> hey, Pincus, finally back. <laughs> Hopefully you were able to catch all the fun stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was just so badass that he was just shouldering off all those blows. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know you said you had some stuff to do around the house, so I just didn't know if you were able to see everything. <laughs> That's cool. The Crest of Flames Orb became, uh, Fodlin. Or the world of Fodlin. Unlockable units have been added to this save data's renown exchange. New equipment has been added to this save data's renown exchange. New crest items. The Vanguard whistle has been added to this save data's renown exchange. Use it to instantly capture a region. Okay. You have unlocked maddening difficulty. No. <laughs> no. Carrying over clear data. Starting a new game, you can carry over content from the sa save data of finished playthrough, if one exists. You can choose whether to import a unit's level per unit basis. <laughs> the port levels can only be imported as a batch for all units, excluding Merc Whistle, other data such as items, gold, Last level will be imported automatically. You select a finished playthrough using the continue option, you will just start before the final battle. So, Warrior of the Azure Gleam. <laughs> That's awesome. So, in other words, I should just make this my clear data so I don't accidentally come back to this. All right, that was Azure Gleam. I guess. 
Okay, there's a ray of bar. There's uh Shez's weapon. I'm guessing since Shez has two swords, that's his other sword. Or her other sword. But we just do some quick chats. Oh my goodness. That was a roller coaster. <laughs> and that was so fun. I'm definitely going to be playing either Golden Wildfire or Scarlet Blaze next. I'm going to hold off on houses until I finish the first, the other two uh, missions or routes in this game. I would like to go back through Azure Gleam and then get the Merc Whistle and then the letter for every other character for Azure Gleam. But I may do that, like, as an aside, or maybe as once I finish the main routes, I'll go back and play through for another character. But as of right now, I have to decide which one to play next. Golden Wallfire or Scarlet Blaze? I kind of, well, I want to play as, I want to play Golden Wildfire. But I just want to get Scarlet Blaze out of the way because, I mean, I just do not like, okay, I'm just going to say this. I do not like how Edelgard's roots go because I understand she's traumatized. I understand that she has so much that has happened in her life that she sees this as the only option. But I just don't believe there's no way that she and the others could come to a reasonable compromise or find a way to coexist. Which is why I don't like how her roots go. Because it is just scorched earth with her. It's all or nothing, her way or the highway. Or in this case, Tallis's way or the highway. And I just would rather... I guess I might as well just play hers, just get it over with, and then enjoy Golden Wildfire. Because at least I know in Golden Wildfire, Claude doesn't have some ulterior... He does have ulterior motives, but he's not, like, going to do stupid stuff. At least I hope not. I've heard the Golden Wildfire kind of goes off the rails in part two. But I think that is it for now. Man, that was a wild ride. <laughs> I mean, if it if I didn't think it'd take me forever to get through the prologue of the next game of the next route then I'd go ahead and do it, but right now I'm sitting at two hours and 30 minutes. And I think it was like three hours for me to get through the paralogue, all four chapters of the paralogue, the first time. So I have to go through that again, that's going to be another three hours. Which, I mean, I wouldn't mind, but <laughs> I just, I'm not prepared today to do that long of a stream. So I'm going to call it, and next week we will start the paralogues for Scarlet Blaze. I'll just say we'll get Scarlet Blaze out of the way. As much as I'm going to hate it, we'll get Scarlet Blaze out of the way. And then the final one we do is going to be Golden Wildfire. Then after that, we'll go back to Three Houses. Finish out Blue Lion Run. 
and then I don't know, maybe play through um because there's crimson flower, there's silver snow, and there's verdant wind in three houses. So that's another three routes I'm gonna have to go through, and each one is so long. Because I think there's like 27, 28 chapters in Scarlet or Azure Moon. I forget how many, but I know it's a high number. I think the shortest one is Crimson Flower because Edelgard just steamrolls everything. But then you have Silver Snow that comes off of Crimson Flower and then Verdant Wind. So <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be so long. I'm sure I'm gonna have content until uh, Engage comes out, or maybe even while Engage comes out. I'm still gonna be playing either Three Hopes or Three Houses. This game is big. But that's all that we're gonna do today. Uh, thank you everyone for coming in. Um, tomorrow I'm going to rest, and then Monday we're going to continue Stardew and all the other stuff I do throughout the week. Oh yeah, thank you everybody for coming in, and I will see y'all Monday. Bye-bye.